glory fold. Inhale, flat back. Sitting up. Let's open it up to the right side. Keeping my feet flexed. Point them up toward the ceiling. And over to the right. Up to center and folding forward. Play with that cat back here. I'm gonna press my spine back using my hands to grip my feet or shins as an anchor point. I'm going to lift the chest forward and then round as I exhale. Inhale forward once more. Exhale round. This time as I inhale forward, I'm going to release my hands up to the ceiling and exhale over to the right side. Inhale to center. Nice slow exhale over to the left. I'm going to walk my hands around the clock, folding forward, hitting all those in-between angles. Then peeling my way up. Exhale, peeling down and around. I swing my legs to my left side, coming to my side bend, sit. Now I'm going to use a post and work on loosening up that top hip. Just turning it on, turning it off. Pressure on, pressure off. Good. Now as I take the weight off, I'm gonna swing the leg forward and then replace it to the back. So adding a little sway and back. Maybe the leg reaches across the body and back. One more. Sway and back. This time as I swing through, I'm gonna switch cheeks. So long leg tucks in, opposite leg tucks back. Again, turning it on, sitting down into the hip, working on a nice straight spine, and then taking some of the weight out. Taking the weight out and putting it on. We'll add that leg swing in. So as the weight comes off, gonna reach the foot forward and reach the leg back. Reaching the leg forward, maybe crossing center and coming back. So a little sway, a little sway. One more. And as it comes to the front, both legs are gonna release. I'm gonna drop to my back. Inhale the arms overhead, pointing the toes, taking a full body stretch. As I exhale, I'm going to bend my knees, feet to the mat, arms to the side. Make connection with the floor through your spine. Inhale, full body stretch, legs reach, toes to fingertips. Good. From here, long arms. I'm going to reach across with the left arm, peeling my shoulders up, pressing down through the heels. Coming over to my belly. Traversing that motion, I'm going to start the action with my arms peeling up for a little twist and then easing my way down. Other direction. Right arm reaches across, slowly peeling up and coming down. Coming back, arm reach. Exaggerate that twist, try to hang out here. And coming down to your backs. Good. I'm going to come to goal post arms as I bend my knees. And I'm going to extend the arms and bridge up. Coming down, arms into a goal post. Inhale, reach. Exhale, back to the floor. I'm going to take the legs long, arms long. This time as I roll, I'm going to lead the way with my feet. Left foot crosses the body. Trying to keep my shoulders down. Coming into my twist. 
into my belly. Crossing that left leg back over again, trying to stay flat, enjoying that twist, pulling me back through. Opposite side. Right leg reaches across, trying to keep my shoulders down for now till gravity takes over. Returning to my back, leading the way with the leg, and to my back. Bring my knees into my chest using that cat spine to start to rock front to back. Good, coming up to sit. Going to inhale the arms up, we're gonna rock back into our bridge. So as I roll back, feet are gonna lift, and then I'm gonna plant my feet. Arms reach up. This time, as I bridge, I'm gonna pull the goalpost arms down to my side so my weight is spread across my shoulder blades. The head can look up, hips come down, arms come up, add a little lift. I'm gonna rock elbow to knees. From rocking down, feet plant, arms reach overhead, goalpost arms, hips are high. Hips come down, arms come up like a shield. Adding that rock. Cat butts. Good. So boom. Plant. Go post. Good. One more. Tuck in the chin. I'm going to roll down this time. I'm not going to lift my feet like a sit up. Arms going to reach overhead. Bridge. Go post. Hips come down. Knees get a little lift. Use the momentum to rock and inhale the arms up. I'm going to windshield wipe from my knees to the right side. Right hand plants, left arm reaches through. Reaching up towards the ceiling now. Good. Coming back through center, I'm going to rock back, tucking my chin. Coming back to that bridge, goal post, and rocking forward, elbows to knees, swaying to the left. Coming through my side bent, sit, reaching with the right arm. And then up towards the ceiling. And back through center. We're gonna windshield wiper our knees side to side. Just one, two, three. On the third, sending that weight in the direction of the knees, and I'm going to step up and around with the top leg and engage my back toes. As I melt my hips towards my heel, Cheeks to the mat, swing the leg through. Windshield wiper on the other side. For one, two, three, stepping up. Good. Again, melt the hips. Swing it back. On this two our left. One, two, three, step up. Toes engaged. This time I'm gonna add a reach with the left hand and then sending my hips back. I can plant that hand if I need assistance to come down. And we're going to switch for one, two, three, step, reach with the right hand this time. Good, planting the hand, swinging back, cheek to cheek for three. One, two, three, stepping up and reach. This time as we reach, I'm going to plant both hands in front, raise the back knee, come into a low lunge. Dropping the knee, coming back to that side bend, sit, cheek to cheek for one, two, three, I can plant, step up, 
Both hands clamp, low lunge. Good, dropping the knee. This time we'll switch side to side on the one. So as I switch through, cheek to cheek, I'm gonna step and engage, raising my heel, raising my knee. And again, step back, sway, step up, plant, engage. Good. One more time, switching sides, we're gonna add a little piece, we're gonna raise that back leg. So as I sway through and I step, plant, kind of like a warrior three or a standing split for now. Let's go with that. Heel raises high. Bending the front knee, coming down, switching sides. Step up, standing split. We'll do one more each side because this is fun. Bending the front knee, tapping down. Cheek to cheek, side bend, sit, step up, standing split. Or your version of. Bend the front knee, cheek to cheek. Step, standing split. Good, coming down to that side bend, sit, pausing in the middle, to our bend, sit. Good. And from here, we'll just swing our legs through to the left, come into our tabletop. Tuck our toes, find downward facing dog. Gonna pedal out the feet. And then I'm gonna play here, I'm gonna come up to my tippy toes, kind of reach to the side with my left ankle, kind of rolling out the ankle basically, seeing what range of mobility I have, and then I'll switch sides. Come to those tippy toes, bending the knees, coiling that spring, and then stepping forward, forward fold. Heel toe my legs, hip distance apart. Grabbing opposite elbows coming into my forward fold. Rag doll, upper body can hang. Just gonna keep my knees slightly soft here. Exhale and fold. And release the arms to my shins as I inhale, flat back. Try to keep my weight out of my hands, just having them there for a reference. And fold. Soften my knees, resting my chest on my thighs, driving down to the floor to stand. I'm gonna sweep the arms up overhead. And coming down through center. Mountain pose, Tadasana, standing. So for now, I'm gonna send my knees forward, keeping my hips over my heels. I'm going to come down to a deep knee bend. Let's do five of those. So driving down to come up. Trying not to sway. Coming down for two. And up. Down for three. And up. Four. And up. And down. Last one. Good. I'm going to stay down here. I'm just going to play. I'm going to dip my knees forward. Dip my knees back and see how I can use my arms as counterweight, counterbalances. Can you reach up? Switching sides, and then we'll drive up to stand. Good. This time we're going to come all the way down, and we'll touch our knees to the mat. So same way down, knees forward, heels lift. I'm going to tip my shoulders back to land softly with the knees. 
tops of the feet to the mat. Let's do two of those. So let's microanalyze the way we can come up more effortlessly. I'm going to set my shoulders over my knees and then press to the floor to come up, tuck my toes, sit, sitting back like I'm going to go into camel pose, knees lift, counterweight the arms, and drive. Good, that's one. Coming down, shoulders back, knees forward. Flatten the feet. Good, again, hinging forward. My base is now my knees, driving up, still stacked over my knees, toes tuck, send the shoulders back, knees lift, driving up. Good, coming down, knees, feet, and down. Good. I'm going to plant the hands, stepping the left foot forward. Raising that back knee off the mat. I'm going to come into that half moon, familiar with yoga. So as I shift forward, I'm going to reach, press into the floor, back heel turns perpendicular to the floor. Maybe the top arm lifts. Good. And we're going to come up to stand here. So I'm going to coil that knee in the center. Keeping my weight over my center of gravity. Knee comes forward and down. We're going to step it back. Coming back to that kneeling position. And back to our knees. Good, let's go sideways. This time we'll go right foot forward. Low lunge. Shifting my weight into the front foot and drive up, peeling my hips up, coming towards that half moon, flexing that back foot. Top arm can reach. And then I'm going to coil the knee in to center as I float up to stand and stepping back. Left leg steps back again, dropping down to that lunge and plant the hands to kneeling. Let's try to float it and make it feel more like a sidekick. So same thing as I shift forward, left leg comes forward. I'm going to shift the weight in. This time I'm going to try not to touch the ground. I'm going to keep my hands up. I'm going to look towards my back foot. Come into my half moon sidekick position. As I coil it in, it's the retraction, knee comes forward, I'm going to step right back to that low lunge and drop the knee, coming down to my hands and knees. Yeah, good. Coming forward, right foot steps up, toes engage, again shifting into that front foot, knee extends. As I raise up, I'm just going to keep the leg with me, trying to sight down the leg. Retraction. Forward and back to my lunge. Kneeling. Fun times. Good. Let's do, we're at a piece at the end. So just so we know where we're going to go, we'll plant our hands. I'm going to send my right leg long and I'm going to peel up to like a wild thing modified side plank. I'm going to lift my ribs up. To get more into the psoas, my top long leg, I'm going to move back a little and drive my hips forward. Good, coming back to my hands and knees to a kneeling position. Shifting forward. Left leg goes long, left arm lifts up. I can reach forward, really feel the, the lats open up, the side body. And again, I can cross further back, drive those hips forward. 
And then I'm going to return to my hands and knees to kneel. So we're going to put that at the end. So as I option now, let's just go for it. I'm going to step up as I lift up, step up into my lunge, shifting forward, and come right in to that half moon side kick position. As I recoil, I come to the front. I'm going to step back to that lunge. My top leg is going to step back to that modified side plank. And then down to center, kneeling position. So we stepped up with the left. We're going to step up with the right. Finding your balance and shifting over that front foot. Step by step, shifting, driving up to raise up. You're going to have a good side and a bad side. Knee coils in, hip sweeps forward. Stepping back to that low lunge, hand plants, sweep back. Open up. Good. Coming back to our knees and sitting back. Good. Let's do one more each side. This time, as we come back to our hands and knees before kneeling, we're going to come to a turtle position. So in jiu-jitsu or wrestling, it's forearms to the floor. Alan likes to say, home alone. He's the grappling coach. So I kind of go elbows inside my knees, shoulders come up, I can wrap my head. And then I'll come back to my kneeling position. So that's going to be the very end, and then we'll reset to our knees. So, from this side, let's go left leg forward, raising up, shifting the weight forward. As I stack my chest over my foot, knee lifts, pressing to lift up, I'm looking down that leg, recoil, stepping back. Right hand plants, left leg goes back, side plank. And right from here, as I curl in, I'm going to come to that turtle position. Oh shit, something's going wrong, turtle up. Plant the hands, press up, kneeling position. Good. Stepping up opposite side, right foot forward, shifting over the foot. Weight comes in, knee lifts, sending my weight down, flexing through that foot, knee coils in, control to come back, knee comes down, left hand plants, right leg long, open up the side body, uh oh, turtle position, knees come together, elbows come down, turtle up. Coming out of our turtle to our knees. Good. Let's do one each side and we'll try to go at your speed with control. Don't rush it. Feel the, the base of support underneath your body and just use control. Think of sweeping that leg and knee wide to come in. Option to keep your leg long if you're feeling good and comfortable. So let's go to the wide. Same thing, I'm going to go left leg forward this time. So I'm going to drive up, step, reach, coil. Option to go a long way. What? Down. Side plank, turtle. Base, kneel. Other side, that's right leg forward. Rising up. Find that balance. Leg long. Sweeping it forward, stepping back, side plank, turtle, base, kneeling. That's fun. Let's do one more for fun fun, and then we'll do the reverse. So I'm not going to talk through it, but I'm going to start by stepping up with the left side. And move at your own speed. Left side.
expressionistic dance. So what do I mean by the reverse? This time as we step up, I'm going to come up with the knee and then open wide thinking of that half moon. You may not tip as much, may not go as horizontal, that's fine. It's just more about challenging your balance and coming to different positions in different ways. Wee! So, let's do the same thing. We'll go left side forward. This time as I come up, I'm going to come up thinking of like a knee up the center. Now I'm coiled for that side kick. I'm going to mule kick to the back. There's your half moon. Arms could stay in. And then I'm going to peel down to my lunge, plant the hand, sweep like a beautiful butterfly, spread your wings. And now we'll turtle up. And we'll rock back. Right side steps up. Left knee comes right up the center. Open in the hip. And I start to side kick, mule kick, half moon if you will. And I'm controlling as I turn the hip down. Planting the knee, hand modified. Spread them wings. Turtling up. Kneeling. So from my kneeling position, raising up and stepping up with a left leg. Knee to center. Option here, to start with the leg long, hinging through the hip. Arms can stay in. You can counterbalance with the arm. And then come down, knee, side plank, and then turtle, kneeling, right side forward, knee comes up, we got a long leg, okay, I'm going to play here, the hinge through, I can counterbalance, Soften the knee, sweep the leg down. And turtle. Coming up to my kneeling position. Good. Let's just work on a little bit of dexterity in our feet. I'm gonna step up with the left leg. Windshield wiper my bottom leg, so I'm about 90 degrees. 90 degrees in my half squat, half kneeling. Right now I've got my bottom foot tucked flat underneath and I'm going to pull my top foot in and just shift over it. So I'm getting this stretch here, feeling it up the back of the calf. I'm just going to hold. Option to reach forward. Maybe reaching up. Good. I'm going to windshield wiper that knee, so I'm pivoting on the ball of the foot. Knee comes down, flat feet. Opposite side comes up. You got a, man, a 90 degree turn from hip to hip, or knee to knee. And then I'm sending the weight into the standard foot. So as I pull it in, stretching my Achilles, sending the weight forward. I'm also trying to keep my knee in line. I have a tendency to flail my knee out to the side. So I'm going to try to keep it in line with my chest as I shift weight into the foot. And then you can explore here, reaching, seeing what puts more stretch on the foot, what doesn't. 
work in what works for you. Get that shifting back, a little windshield wiper. We'll do the same thing on the other side. This time I'm gonna tuck the bottom toes, curling them in. So now I should start to feel stretched through that foot. This may be too much. Feel free to leave the hand down. Take the weight out. Now I'm working on those toes. Stretching that foot. Coming back to our breathing, controlling our breath. And we'll switch sides. Windshield wiper and down. Toes tucked. Other side comes up. Tucked toes. One side may be more comfortable than the other. If not, take the weight out and stretch. Good. All right from here, we're going to do our tripod transition. This bottom leg is going to slide forward because I'm using my hand. And I'm going to come back to my long sit. Seated staff pose, if you will. And then we'll come into a seated split. Legs wide. I like to shimmy them out with my hands as little wedges. And I have to keep working on this because I forgot. I've got two months to get a good split going. Or improve my split. No pressure. So nice. Inhaling, nice and controlled. Exhale, just deflating as my legs and hammies loosen up. I'm not forcing it, but just shimmy shimmy. Go towards the right leg and we'll fold forward over that. Coming through center to the left leg. Inhaling up tall through center, and we'll fold forward one more. Got to reach along with both arms and plant the left, and inhale the right for a twist. So, not reaching forward, I'm going to try to reach back, try to make a T through the arms. Switch sides, coming forward with both arms, leaving the right, inhaling the left. Trying to feel the T. And coming back to the front. Feeling up, coming our, bring our feet together, butterfly. And while we're doing this, I can drop my chest forward to bring my elbows to my thighs. And I'm going to reach long through the spine, shoulder, bla shoulder blades back and down. And left ear to left shoulder. Multitasking. Maybe I start to look up a little bit. You're going to find maybe there's a tighter direction in your neck. We'll switch to ear to shoulder. And just kind of find it and hang out there. Go chin to chest. Still thinking of the shoulder blades going back and down. Inhaling, chin up. And rolling through. Pausing where you want. Chin can come up. And we'll go chin to chest. And chin up. As the chin comes up, I'm going to pull through the feet a little bit just to Send my chest lower. 
Run down. Chin up. Run down. Good. If you're getting lower, you can maybe take your elbows in front of your shins. Stack your feet under your hands. Or your hands under your feet. Then we'll roll up. Proud chest forward. And I'm going to roll my neck through to this direction. And reverse for two. Maybe three. Good. Bring my knees in. Making a little ball. I can use my hands. I'm just going to sway my hips side to side. two laps coming around so from here I'm going to sway walk through my hands and knees tabletop continuing the feet around to my inverted foot hand position so just walking up and then walking back try to make it smooth and effortless and when you come to Twice around, we'll go back the other direction. Okay, we'll end up on our hands and knees, and we'll peel our way up to sit. And why not? We'll end with our three breaths, inhaling nice and wide. Exhale, we'll go palms together, elbows high. And then from here we'll open up, inhaling. Palms together, heels come down, elbows wide. Open up. And one more. Now we'll bring our elbows down, reaching up with the thumbs towards the third eye. Rounding our backs for one final little stretch. And inhale, lifting up. Ready to face the day. Yeah. Word. Thanks, guys.